I was called out to uh, that was in the area. Uh, children died in many, many different ways. I, uh, so I saw lots of children die, their teachers die, and the effects that it had on the entire community. Uh, during that time, three revelations stuck out with me in working with these families. The first one, and you probably all know that, especially with the people who may have experiences, is that parents are not equipped to bury their children. That's one of the hardest things that parents can do. From my experience in working with many, many parents, they just cannot bury their children. They're not prepared to do this. They expect their children to bury them. They never expect to bury their children. The second revelation that came to me <coughs> in doing this job is that it does make a difference how children die. And I've seen children die many, many different ways. From um, accidents. Hi, Hello. Hi. My youngest suicide victim in the school district of Philadelphia that I dealt with was a six-year-old child. She was six-year-old. I would go out to the house. I was expected uh, from the superintendents to be at the coroner's, at the house, scanning the blood, wherever there was a, a problem or an incident. I was to be there in the midst of what I was going on because the school district cared. And, and we wanted to be there because we were actually part of the, the, the children's lives. But this little six-year-old uh, child, she took the drawstring from her jogging suit pants. She wrapped it around her neck. And then she wrapped it on her bed post. And she hung herself. This parent had to find her the next day and to, to get her to go to school. So that, that extremely different. All the, the rest of the parents felt terrible dealing with the death of their children, but the most difficult ones that I found in my tenure experience working in the area of death and suicide. The, um, the last revelation that came to me is that, uh, what is it, that there, there is that strong bond between the school and the home, and the community, but especially the school and the home. And those many, many experiences of death that I worked with with parents, and just about all of them, and I'm talking about thousands at this point, the next day, sometimes the same day, the parent would come to the school. The next day, or the same day that their child was dead, the parents would come to the school they would want to go to the classroom. They wanted to be there. They wanted to go to the child's locker, and they wanted to speak with the teacher. And I'm talking about any grade, from kindergarten to high school children. I'm talking about children who sometimes hooking school most of the time, and they had very little left at school. The parents were still on the school's doorstep to see what was going on with the child and what the child left there. There is that connection. Parents understand that the children spend most of their waking hours in school with the teachers, more so than at home with the parents. So, the, and, the, and the parents are keen and anxious for anything that the child might have left in school. Any paper, any scrap of paper in the desk that the child might have scribbled on, at the, a story that the child might have written, or a picture that the child might have drawn. The parents were there. Constantly, and most of the time, the administrators and the teachers did not know how to deal with that. They didn't expect it. So, of course, once that became a revelation to me, 
that is one of the things that I worked with the with the schools on Pre being prepared for that parent coming that same day or the next day. And the last thing I wanted to say is that uh, the the whole Gideon's not before Gideon's not was a glimpse for me into my professional life. It's a slice out of the day of my professional life that I did for ten years, constantly working with staff. And um, the knot for me, Gideon's knot for me, was the the tie or the bind of the the school, the home, and the community. And I want to thank you all for coming. It's a pleasure to be here with all of you.